Oh, this wine I was really impressed with, this little Pinot Grigio from Noble Wines. I mean, the, the concept is a little goofy. They named the wines after the clone, the clone. of the grape, um, uh, not the variety, the, the, uh, the grape. Uh, you know, I'm still tasting roots. that crusted pie. Yeah. It's just sit lingering, that little long finish. I hope you put that in the newsletter. I don't remember. That was a month ago. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, this is really something. What a great this is, I was I just blown away at how good this wine was. Mm -hmm. Absolutely delicious. What a departure from Pinot Grigio in general, even though the color looks right. You know what the this, nose is you know, perfect. But you know what this is? And I said this in the article. This is more like a Pinot Gris from Alsace, not a Pinot Grigio from Italy. Uh -huh. You will not compare this to, to Pinot Grigio from Italy because they're light and simple, most of them. There are some great ones, without question, in, in Colio and in Northern Italy. But this comes off more like an Alsace Pinot Gris. It's, it's serious wine. It's really... It's got great weight, great depth. You're right. It's got a cold, cold weather Christmas to uh, it. Yeah, but yeah, but it's a warmer climate nose, than Northern Italy. The nose is something else, right? Mm. You get all kinds of peaches and almost a little mm -hmm. bit of banana. I mean, a ton of peach. God, it's really something. I'm, I'm. This is thirteen ninety nine is a steal. Six ninety nine is stupid. I'm doing a ninety eight. Stupid, stupid, stupid price. It's a stupid price. They have a better because it's a stupid price. It's a nitwit price. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's the classic series for our forty fifth anniversary May of two thousand and seventeen. Thanks for coming in. My pleasure.